Hello, today I want to talk about the procedure known as the square root. Now before I talk about the actual process of taking the square root, first let's talk about the squaring procedure. So what does it mean to square something? In, in math, if you say to square something, it means you multiply something by itself. For example, 6 squared. So it's a procedure. I'm doing this procedure to the 6. It's called squaring the 6. If, if you want to write it out in words here, I'm squaring the 6. OK, so that means 6 times 6, which is equal to 36. OK, so that's, that's the squaring procedure. Now let's talk about the square root. So let's uh, draw a line here. So the square root procedure is the exact opposite. And so the symbol for square root is a little squiggly sign, looks like that. And so you would you would do it, it's kind of like the game show Jeopardy. In, in Jeopardy, in, excuse me, in normal game shows, they give you a question like, what is, the, what is 6 squared? And you come up with the answer. In the square root, you're doing the opposite. They're giving you the answer. They're saying the answer to something squared is 36. What was the original question? So you would say the square root of 36 is 6. And so in words, you say the square root, the square root of 36 is 6. And so in other words, you're just asking yourself the question um, one more time, square root of 36, you're asking the question, what, what number, if you square it, gives you 36? So what number squared? gives you 36. All right, uh, let's, let's give you one for practice here. So I'm going to give you a question. Uh, square root of 81. So hit, hit the pause button, try to work it out for yourself, and then after a couple minutes, resume the video and I'll give you the answer. Okay, so hopefully you figured out the answer now. Uh, let, me, let me tell you, just so you can make sure you did it right. So the square root of 81, I'm asking myself the question, what number squared uh, gives me 81? So in other words, uh, what number times itself gives me 81? Okay, so we know that 9 times 9 equals 81. So the answer is 9. So you would say square root of 81 equals 9. So it's just a 9. Don't say 9 times 9 or 9 squared. It's just 9. We want to know what is the number that, if you do the squaring procedure on it, would give you an 81. So it's like, the, it's like squaring in reverse. All right, so the examples I gave so far, square root of 36, square root of 81, they worked out really nicely because the answer were, was both whole numbers. But what if you have something like, say, square root of, say, um, square root of 60? Okay, this doesn't have a nice, easy answer. Um, you could, it's the same idea, though. What number squared, or what number times itself, what number squared, uh, gives you 60. Okay, well, uh, you can go through the same procedure. You can do some trial and error here. We know that, um, we know that say, uh, a 7 times 7 gives me 49. Okay, so 7 is not the answer. That's too low. Um, 8 times 8 uh, gives me 64. So that's too high. So 8 is too high. 7 is too low. So what is the number that would give me exactly 60? Well, let's, so it has to be 7 point something. So 7 point something, I, I can tell that 
already. That, that's the answer, 7 point something. So without a calculator, you would just, you can use trial and error here. You can try like, for example, 7 times 5 times 7 times 5. And, and what does that give you? Well, let's, let's work this out here real quick here. 5 times 5 is 25, carry the 2. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 2 is 37. And then 7 times 5, shift over 1, add a 0 if you want. 7 times 5 is 35, carry the 3. Uh, 7 times 7, let's cross out the 2 there. 7 times 7 is 49, plus 2, excuse me, 7 times 7 is 49, plus 2 is 52. So 5, 12, carry the 1, 6. Okay. So 7.5 times 7.5 is 56.25. So that's still too low, although it's closer. So you could try, you know, 7.6 times 7.6 and see what that gives you. And if that doesn't work, you could try like 7.7 .7 times 7.7 .7 and so on. So you can see that trying to figure out what number times itself is going to give you exactly 60 is going to give you um, a very... Uh, it's a very time-consuming process. So usually for this we just use a calculator. So um, the computer has a handy calculator here. Let's just go to a calculator. Um, most calculators have a square root button. Uh, most most uh, calculators have the actual symbol. Mo most calculators, I'll just draw a little picture. Most calculators, you know, you have your you have your buttons over here and somewhere you have a button and has a little square root sign on it. So you just t type 60, type, hit the square root button, and you get the answer. The calculator on this computer here, the square root button is right there. And so you'd have to go 60, hit the square root button, and there it is. 7.745966692419, blah, 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 blah. Notice that the numbers just keep going and going and going. The actual true square root of 60 is called an irrational number, meaning the number, the digits just keep going forever. So we just have to round off some place. So now for the answer, square root of 60 equals, um, let's, let's just type the first few digits here. So 7.74, oops, 7 wrong, wrong, uh, wrong number there. 7.7. 7.4.5.9, I, I think was the first, the first few digits, 7.7.4.5.9, and then I can go 6.6.6.9.2.4 six, 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 if I want to. Okay, and you know, every calculator is going to round off slightly differently. Now, what to give for the answer? Um, it just depends on, on what you want to round off to. It depends on how, ac how precise your answer needs to be. So, usually, Three or four digits after the decimal point is usually good enough. How about, I'll just cut it off right there. So I'll just say 7.746 and, and call it good. So there's the answer. Now that's not exactly the square root of 60. If I actually multiply it 7.746 times 7.746, I'm not going to get exactly 60. But I mean, I'm going to get pretty close. Let's go ahead and, and use the calculator here. Let's go ahead and do that calculation here. Seven. 7.746 times 7.746 equals, you can see 60.000516. So it's really close to 60. So it, at least for three digits of accuracy, this is, this is really close to the true square root of 60. Okay, let me give you one more for, for practice here. Uh, with, with You have to get out a calculator for this. Um, and uh, g give you a couple minutes to, to work it out here. So how about, um, let's throw in one with a decimal here. How about square root of, let's say, 47.92. And give, give the answer to, uh, to three digits after the decimal point. Okay, so take a minute, press the pause button, get out a calculator if you, uh, if you don't have one, and, uh, and get the answer. And then once you get the answer, then resume the video, and I'll give you the answer. Okay, hopefully you've had a chance to, to work this out. So now I'll just get out my calculator here. I'll just use the same calculator as before. Press the clear button. Just type 47.92, hit the square root button, 
6.922427. Now, in my instructions, I said give the answer to three digits of accuracy after the decimal point. So for rounding off, just go one, two, three, cut it off right there. The next digit is less than five, so round down to just 6.922. That's it.